Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build metal framework to your desired size perfectly square without welding, cutting and bulky bolted connections. Welcome to Quick Tech. I'm Nick Schutz and I created these do-it-yourself connectors just for you. The possibilities are endless using the Quick Tech products. Today, to make this framework, I'll be using two designs from the QuickTech product range, the universal connector and the rail connector. The framework can be used for gates, doors, signs, dividing walls, enclosures, small shed or hot houses, etc. The only tools you need are impact driver, a metal file, tape measure, marker pen, number two Phillips driver bit, hex five impact driver bit. The first step is to purchase your QuickTech square and rectangle framework connection kit from the QuickTech website or ask your local steel supplier if they stock QuickTech. This is what your connection kit for this project looks like. The next step is deciding the size framework you would like to build and ordering the correct size metal. You're going to need to determine the overall height and overall width dimensions of the framework you would like to build. Then download the table supplied on the website which is used to find the correct size and length of the required hollow metal sections. You can also ask your local steel supplier staff for a hand. Just tell them your grid reference code from the table and they should be able to help you over the phone or in store. Step 3. Attach the QuickTech connectors to your hollow metal. Insert the rail connectors into the 38 by 25 millimeter hollow ends ensuring the connectors are facing the same way at either end. Then fit them in place with the self-drilling screws. Fit the universal connector to each end of both 50 by 50 millimeter sections using the self-drilling screws. Make sure the connectors will mirror each other when they are turned to face one another. You'll find the measurements for the position of the other universal connectors on the second page of the table. Mark out the positioning centre measurements with a marker. These measurements will be used for the diagonal brace sections. Position one universal connector on each marking. This time you must make sure that both connectors are flipped opposite when turned to face each other but also in the opposite configurations at each end then fit these connectors in place. Step four is the assembly. This is the fun part. Start by laying the two 50 by 50 millimeter sections parallel on the ground. Then use the two 38 by 25 millimeter shorter sections to create the perimeter of the framework. Lightly fix using cap head screws to hold the shape. Then fit the first diagonal brace and lightly fix. Flip the framework over and fit and fix the other diagonal brace. Lock the framework in place by tightening all of the cap head screws firm. To tie your framework together at the brace intersections, simply fix the right angle bracket in place. Your framework is now super strong and perfectly square. The framework is completely flat so you can attach any cladding you desire. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.